Hi band, Miss Alam here. So here is your video that is an in-depth tutorial of how to play hot cross buns on your instrument. Now, no matter what instrument you're playing, you want to make sure that first things first, after setting your instrument up safely, having a nice quiet place to practice, having a good chair to sit up straight in, and or a place to stand for percussion, after you do that, before you even start any music making, you want to make sure that first you open up your metronome, which was that steady clicking that you hear during our lessons that I play over the speakers. So to open your metronome, here's what you're going to do. Okay, to, 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 so to open your metronome, what you do is you open your Google Chrome, and then in the search box, you search metronome metronome is how it's spelled. You hit enter and then bam there's your metronome right here. For the purpose of the first video assignment that you have assigned you want to set it to the tempo that I asked for which is 69 so I drag it down to 69. If I asked for you to set it at 185 you would drag it and you'd find 185 etc etc. Right? So you want to set the slider of the metronome to the tempo that is asked for in this assignment. This link is also always linked in the assignment on Google Classroom. If you look at the assignment, in assignment instructions, you can always click the link and it'll just open up this metronome page for you so you don't even have to type anything. Okay, so now after opening up your metronome, which should be sounding like this, steady clicking, making sure you have it ready to go, you want to make sure you're feeling that steady beat all the time, tapping your toe along to it if that helps you out. Now, in this video, later on in this video, when I start to play on your instrument, you will see three screens. On the three different screens in the video, in the top left corner, it's the picture of what your recording video should look like. So it has the good angle, it has the whole instrument in view, your face in view, sitting up nice and tall, etc., etc. Right underneath that side, you will see your music guide and your instructions on how to get through this. So we see our half notes as we went over in class. We see our beats. We remember that each beat is represented by an arrow, each beat of the metronome. And then we see underneath we have our fingerings. So, depending on how many fingers you have, these ones specifically are for the euphonium. I drew three little circles, numbered them as one, two, and three, and colored in the ones you're supposed to push down. If it's not colored in, it means you don't cover that circle. And it's different per instrument, so make sure you're watching. And the last thing on there is it shows the instructions of how to play through the song. We remember we play through the first line two times, staying with the steady beat the whole time. Remember, you can see how many steady beats each of these types of notes, half notes and whole notes, get as represented by the arrows. So you play that first line two times, then in red you play the bottom line just one time only, playing quarter notes now, and then you go back and it says back up to the green and play this one last time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that should be enough information coupled with the rest of this video to help you get through your, court, your recording. You want to make sure that your recording sounds as close to mine as you can. I'm playing it with the steady beat. What you don't want to do is you don't want to set up your steady beat and then go ta 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 and play super fast. But you also don't want to go too slow. Ta ta. You don't want to go too slow like that either. Okay? You want to stay with the beat. Two, three, four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, keep watching this video to see the in-depth tutorial. Oh, I forgot to say. This is the second screen you see, and the third screen, which you'll see the biggest on the video, is you'll see a close-up of my fingers to help you get through and know exactly what to push.
Okay, so with that, please keep watching the video and watch the tutorial, slow it down if you need, get out your instruments and um, start practicing to turn in this video by the due date. Thank you very much.